Hello everyone and thanks for joining. So in this particular video we are going to do one project and this is the Azure Data Factory data transformation project. So we have one of the business requirement. So first we will try to understand the business requirement and then we will try to think about the solutioning part and then we will try to do a practical. So let us start with the business use case. So we have a data that is available in a storage account from external resources. So we have one of the blob storage and there we have a container and there our sales data is coming and that is in a CSV form. If you will see in the right side, right, we have a ID, we have a product, we have a sales and uh, that company is selling three products. One is the mobile, one is the refrigerator, one is washing machine. So if, if any of the customer who is purchasing, so their corresponding ID and their product details and their sales related information is coming in the CSV format. Now if you will see this ID1 is purchasing three products so three entry you can see ID1 mobile and what is the sales ID1 refrigerator what is the sales ID1 washing machine what is the sales. Similarly if any new customer is coming their corresponding ID product and the sales information is coming in the CSV format. Now what business wants is like they want to store in a one single row only like ID1 whether he has purchased the mobile, what is the total sales 20,000, what is the refrigerator 30,000, what is the washing machine 40,000. If he is not purchasing, then you can put it as a zero or null. Okay, but the entry should be in only in one row. Instead of having a multiple entry, you can see in the left side, right? The output should be only one row. And what is the total mobile sale? What is the total refrigerator sales amount? What is the washing machine sales amount? That is the output they want. And finally, whatever the output you will get, you have to dump into the final storage account in the new CSV format. So that is the requirement we have and that actually we are going to do a practical. So this is a requirement. I hope you got understanding of the requirement. Now what actually we will do, we will open Azure Data Factory and we will try to create one pipeline and that actually we will try to convert this row pattern into a columnar way. So how actually we do, let's try to see. Let me open my Azure. First, I will go to the storage account. I will show you the data. So, this is the storage. In the storage, I will click on the container. So, I have a two container. One is input and another is output. If I will show you output, as of now, no data is available. But I will go to the input. There, data is available. This is the input. And this is the data we have sales. Go to the edit. You can see we have a customer ID, we have a product name and the sales. You can see multiple customer ID, multiple product name and multiple sales related information is available. So that is our input file. And now we have to convert and we have to save into the another output container as in a columnar pattern. So I will open my Azure Data Factory. So this is the data factory I have. I will click on the left side author. And we will try to create a data flow. So go into the data flow. In a data flow only we are trying to do. Click on the new data flow. First we will try to select the source. So what is the source? First thing is to create a data set. So what we are going to do. We will try to create a data set. Click on the new data set. Where our data is available. It is available in a blob store. That's why we will select the blob store. If it is in a SQL server. Then you select the SQL server. Our data is available in blob storage, so we will select that, click on the blob storage. What is our file format is a txt or csv format, so I will select that. Continue. And then we have to create a link service. What is link service? Link service will help to connect your blob storage or any of the storage where you want to connect. Okay. So first thing, select the subscription. Second, select the storage account. And after that, you have to check the test connection. If it is success, then only you are able to connect. Okay. If you have to connect with the blob storage, if you have to connect with the SQL for everything, you have you should have a link service. So that is the first thing. Click on the create. Once you will create a link service, right? Now after that, you have to select the file path. Where our file is available, this is input. This is the folder where our file is available. So I will select that. After the first row is header, yes. So I'll click on the OK. After that, your data set is ready. So this is the data set is ready. Now if I'll click on the open, 
and if i select the preview data you will be able to see this is the data we have customer id product name and the sales so our first thing is ready our data flow source file is ready okay now after that what we have to do click on the plus now we have to convert this column row pattern into the columnar pattern so that is the requirement right so the multiple row you have to convert into the columnar pattern like you should have a one mobile column you should have one refrigerator column or you should have one washing machine column so that is the thing you have to do how actually we do here so select on the plus here and after that you have to select the pivot so this is the transformation we are going to use so you have to select that what is the incoming stream incoming stream is your source file so i select the source here and what actually you want to group so i want to group based on the id column customer id so i will select so in my case if you see i have a id column based on the id i want to group that's why i selected suppose id and name both are same so you will select id and name you want to group okay based on the multiple column you can select on which particular column you want to group by so that is the first thing group by the second is the pivot key so you want to convert this product column mobile refrigerator and washing into a columnar pattern right so that actually you have to select which particular column you want to pivot so i want to pivot product key product name so i will select that okay after that it is asking a value so value is optional that you don't need to pass okay pivoted column the third one is a pivoted column here you have to write a expression so what actually you want to write so this is the by default the column name pattern is coming after that you have to write a pivot expression so you want to have a what we will write sum of two integer and the sales so what actually we are doing we are trying to do a sum of the sales so that is the thing we are going to do what i will write i'll just open this and i will show you one minute open expression builder so what we are writing sum of two integer we are converting the string into the integer so sales is our column name so that is actually we are going to give and what actually we will write the column name as a sales save and finish and after that we will try to debug whether it is working fine or not so select on the data flow debug click on the ok go to the data preview and let's see whether it's working or not so data flow debug is in processing that's why it's taking time now you can see you are getting only one row you can see customer id one in our csv file you can see we had a multiple ids right for the customer id one we had a three entry but now what is the output we are getting only one customer id what is the sales mobile what is the sales refrigerator what is the sales washing this is how the output we are getting for the one for two three four five six okay means our uh, pio transformation is working fine that what you have to do finally we are going to save into the final sync right so i will select sync and where actually you want to save so i want to save into a blob storage only so i will select the data set i want to select delimited text i will select the same link service because this is the same link service but the file path folder will be different i want to save into this output folder click on the ok click on the ok now this our data flow is ready now what we will do we will go to the pipeline click on the new pipeline and we will try to drag this data flow here go to the pipeline and select the data flow here so this is the data flow and this is the pipeline we have now what you have to do first you have to click on the validate all click on the close click on the publish all click on the publish and after that we will try to run and we will try to see whether it is getting saved or not so you can see it is in publishing mode as of now you can see publish is completed now we will click on the add trigger and trigger now once you will click on the trigger now your pipeline will start running and it should save your data into a final location so you can see the pipeline is running and the status is in progress so in the left side the monitor window you can come and you can monitor this now you can see it is succeed now now we will go to the our uh, blob storage so this is the storage account we will check the output so this is the output we have 
there are multiple part file actually it got selected in a multiple file part file it got saved go to the edit now you can see you will be having a data in the one of the part file you can see 325,000 and all so to remove this part file what you have to do go to your data flow this is the data flow debug right select your data flow go to the sync and optimize click on the single partition and click on the publish all publish let me first delete the data and we'll try to run pipeline again so that it will save now this one is clean what i will do it is publishing right we will try to trigger one more time click on the trigger click on the trigger now click on the ok now go to the monitor and wait for the it to be completed now you can see it is again running it is in progress once it will complete we will see the file should be available in a single partition now you can see it is completed now again we will go to the our folder go to the container go to the output container now file should be available in a single partition you can see this is available we will check that go to the edit now you can see you only have only one partition and only one row data one customer id one two three four five six right and then corresponding the detail mobile sales sales representative sales possible